Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how smart magnets work. So first let me show you these two magnets. You can see these two magnets obviously repel each other. Now this might not be very interesting to you if you've ever seen two magnets together with the same like poles facing each other. They repel each other obviously. But this isn't just any magnet, this is a smart magnet. And this smart magnet allows the two magnets to be attracted to each other if you get them close enough together. So watch this. So up here they're repelled from each other, but if I get them close enough together, or about right there, they're attracted to each other now. In fact, I have to pull pretty hard to get them apart. Now here's another type of smart magnet. Here's two magnets that are attracted to each other. Pull them pretty hard to get them apart. But let's say I don't want to pull it really hard to get them apart. I can actually just turn it 180 degrees. Now it stays apart. But what's interesting is it's not just repelling now, it's actually repelling at a certain fixed distance. So watch when I pull this one, this one follows it. So it stays at a fixed distance now. So it's being both repelled and attracted at the same time. It attracts up to a certain point and after that it repels. And if I do it further, it gets attracted. So this is very similar to how molecules interact. At long distances, they don't really have an interaction, but if you get them close enough, then they'll start to attract each other. But when they get too close, they start to repel each other. And they won't come closer together. This is due to the Pauli exclusion principle. But that's not how this is working. That's just a really cool similarity. This would be really cool to show in classes where you teach about intermolecular forces. There's also this one here that does the same thing as the red one. But you can see that no matter how I turn it, it stays repulsive at close ranges, but attractive at far away ranges. Then you have ones like this that do a similar action, but when you turn it, you, they're really stuck together unless you give it a little bit of turn and then you can release it. That's kind of similar to this last one here, where these are just two magnets together, and this is just a spacer in between them. But watch, it keeps it in around 90 degree increments like this. So I can't turn it to anything in between. It wants to pop back into these, where these numbers are. So smart magnets can make these really cool latches that attract or repel at certain distances, but they can also do something else pretty cool. For example, I have two magnets here. This is just a conventional magnet, and this is a smart magnet, this orange one. So they both stick to this piece of metal really strongly. Now this is pretty thin, so you can imagine that we're gonna get some magnetic field leaking through it. Now I can test this with a steel ball here. You can see that it's still attracted to the magnet through it. But watch what happens when I put it on the side with the smart magnet. There's no leakage. So it can't pick this up, but the conventional magnet can. Now this is really cool. It makes shielding of the magnet really easy while you still get the strong force of attraction really close up to it. So in order to see how this is working, we're going to be using something called magnetic viewing film. Before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video. You already know who it is, Raid Shadow Legends. So this month, Raid's celebrating its three year anniversary and it's going to be huge. They've got an insane amount of things in the store. We're talking new champions, new artifact sets, and a fully personalized video showcasing every player's raid journey and their own personal achievements. They even added a whole new faction called the Shadowkin that looks really cool. There's seriously never been a better time to get started. And if you use my link or scan the QR code right here, new players will get a free starter pack worth almost $40 to kickstart your game. We're talking free champions Misericord, Tiger Soul, and Romero. 10 Magic XP Brew, 10 Force XP Brew, and 10 Spirit XP Brew. And since it's Raid's birthday, the gifts keep coming. All new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth almost $25. And once you're in the game, just enter the promo code 3 years Raid to get your hands on everything. It's really simple. You can use my QR code or links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. And thanks again to Raid for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our experiment. So first let me show you how this magnetic viewing paper works. I have two magnets here. When I hold it up to the magnetic viewing paper, you can see that right in the middle of them is a bright spot. So what the magnetic viewing paper does is show us when there's a transition between a north and south pole. 
North is on this side, south is on this side, and right in the middle is the transition. So that's what we can see with the magnetic viewing paper. You can see if I take a spherical magnet like this, right in the middle is the transition. So on this paper, remember if you see a dark spot, that's the poles. If you see a light spot, that's in between the poles. So now let's look at some of these smart magnets with it and see what it looks like. So here's that red one. You can see that there's a really intricate pattern on there. This definitely isn't some normal magnet. So let's look at the pattern on this one. So this pattern isn't that complex at all. It looks like we have rings of north and south poles. So this is the smart magnet here, and if I take just a regular magnet, you can see that it's attracted to this outer edge. So these are opposing poles here on the outer edge. So if I flip this magnet over, it's now going to be repelled to that outer one. But remember, inside of it was a different pole. So this pole in the center here is going to be attracted to this side because I flipped the magnet. But because the outer magnet is so much bigger, it repels it at these long distances. See how it's repelling it? But if I can force it to get close enough so that it's attracted to that center magnet there, then it will stick. So you can see it sticks just fine in there. But if I remove it and get it far enough away, now it repels it again. So you can see this pattern isn't very complex, it's just a circular pattern of a north pole on this outside and a south pole on the inside, but it makes it such that far away from it, it's repulsive, but close to it, it's attractive. So that's how you get this repulsive force that becomes attractive when you get it close enough. So you can see if you just alternate these magnetic fields in intelligent ways on the surface of these magnets, you can get it to latch when you want, repel when you want, or be attractive when you want. But how did this one work where it didn't let it leak magnetic fields? Well, it has to do with how the magnetic field is on the surface of these smart magnets. So this beige one is just a conventional magnet. So the magnetic field goes up from one side, curves around, and goes to the other side. So it's a big loop. But let's look at the pattern on this smart magnet here. You can see there's a really cool pattern going on here. So we're alternating north and south poles really frequently here. So the magnetic field lines don't go from top to bottom, but what they do is do little loops on top of it. So it goes north, south, north, south. So there's little loops of magnetic field lines. So they don't stretch out in long lines above and below it, but they stay right on the surface. So when you get something really close to it, it's easily attracted to it pretty strongly. But if you move it a little bit further away from it, it's not attracted to it hardly. So you can see with these two here, I can see the conventional magnet, but I can't see the pattern of the other magnet on it. The way these are made is you take a blank like this, and then you want to create a strong magnetic field exactly where you want it. And the way you do that is by using an electromagnet. So I'll put a link in my description to a really cool video where a guy uses a print head and a huge capacitor to generate magnetic fields right where he wants it, and it imprints that magnetic field into the blank. Now making magnetic patterns like this has been around for a really long time actually, way before these smart magnets or poly magnets have been around. You've actually seen this pattern before if you've ever used a refrigerator magnet. So I have a refrigerator magnet here that I've just cut in half. Now let's see what this looks like in the magnetic viewing paper. Look at those lines. So refrigerator magnets actually have these alternating north and south poles as well. So you don't get long range of these magnets, but you do get strong force right close up to it. Here's another one. Depending on the magnet, you'll get different spacing of the magnetic fields on the back. So because you have an alternating pattern here, what this means is if you stick them together, they'll stick together just fine because it'll find its correlating north and south pole, but it'll only do it at certain increments. So you can see how these kind of click together. It's almost like it's a gear. I've actually always been fascinated by refrigerator magnets because of this fact right here. How there's this invisible force that makes it like there's gears on these that only let them move at certain increments. So I can mimic this by putting a bunch of magnets spaced with a little bit of space in between. So we kind of get that same pattern of alternating north and south poles, but with a gap in between. So you can see when I put a magnet on top of it, it only wants to stay at these fixed intervals. So that's exactly what's happening with these magnets here. 
And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out actionlab.com if you haven't yet. I sell two science boxes there, a vacuum chamber box and a self-pouring fluid box. And we're almost out of stock of these and not going to be ordering new ones. So if you want to get it, head there now. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.